Hi, my name is Simone. Uh, Simone first came to see Joe Lay through our expungement help desk. She was looking for assistance in sealing her past criminal record. And she did have uh, a lengthy criminal history. And it was apparent that history was a result of drug addiction. I was addicted to drugs for 16 years. I mean, I come from a good family, that's uh, evident. I was, but I just went the wrong path. I started, you know, hanging out with people that, you know, were smoking marijuana and doing stuff like that. That escalated, they always say it escalates, and it did. It went from marijuana to cocaine, and that just, just took me out. I had a lot of cases, a lot of theft cases, from going in people's stores, trying to steal the alcohol, stealing the clothes, and thinking I wouldn't get caught, you know? And I would go and sell this stuff for money to go buy drugs. I went to jail, in and out of jail. I even went to a couple of treatment centers during that time, you know, went to like uh, a few detoxes or whatever, and I would go in and come out. I would do a 30-day program and come out and start back up again. Simone was at a point in her life where she was six years sober and hadn't been arrested in, in over eight years at that point. And the law allows people that suffered from past addiction to seal their records. Um, crimes of theft and possessions are eligible under the law, but the longer your record, the harder it is to do on your own. cases that I had I really needed some help and it was for me to try to get a lawyer at that time I worked at White Castle minimum wage job <laughs> there was no way based on the length of Simone's criminal record the judge was not willing to just have a motion in his courtroom he called for a full hearing in which he wanted a witness to testify on her behalf he wanted to subject her to direct and cross-examination. Simone's testimony the day in court included both talking about her past, but talking about where she had come. Her sister was a great character witness because she was able to talk about Simone during the dark years, but also support Simone in her bright years, in her present. After hearing her testimony, after hearing her sister's testimony on her behalf, um, the judge granted the sealing of her record, um, as he should have, and he was the first of many agencies and individuals to come that once they knew Simone and knew all she had done in her life since her record gave her the relief that she deserved. After presenting evidence of her rehabilitation and, and where her life had come since, uh, she has her nursing degree today. I have five children, four are living. I have DeAndre, he's uh, 21. I have Erica, she's 16. I have Devante, who is no longer with us. He would be 14 now. Um, Brittany is nine, and Brianna is seven. When I went in treatment, my goal, my dad already took my daughter. Brittany had, was gone, so uh, my goal was to try to get her back, and that's what I did. I just fought and fought and fought and jumped through hoops. DCFS puts you through, I mean, everything. You just have to jump through hoops. Everything they told me to do, I did, <laughs> and I got my baby back. Simone's son, DeAndre, saw her go down her path of addiction. Addiction doesn't just harm the person who suffers from it, but it affects every aspect of their life, their family and their friends. And He, he saw a lot. It was, it was hard to, you know, only see your mom sometime. And, you know, you did see her, you know, she would not look in the best condition. And So not only did he witness her 
downhill spiral, her addiction, but DeAndre witnessed her, her revival, her recovery, her, her return, his mother's return into his life. I started moving back in with my mom when I was a freshman. And uh, I don't know, we built up our relationship and I mean, like, we're <laughs> really close now. Talk to my mom every day, probably three or four times a day. DeAndre has um, has been arrested a couple times himself. I, I kind of did uh, kind of go down the wrong path for a little bit. I kind of strayed away. It was I don't I don't know. It was just I guess a lot of emotional stress, and I just kept it bottled in. And he recognizes he needs to take care of his minor record now, um, so it never prevents him from his future success either. And we'll be working with him to to do that as well. I love what I do. I enjoy helping people and I just love my job. I do. I come from four generations of nursing. Uh, my great grandmother was a nurse, my grandmother was a nurse, and my mother is a nurse. I've been helped so many ways. I've had so much family support. My sister, my mother, I mean my aunt, my husband, I mean he just backed me 100%. I just want to give back what was so freely given to me. I was able to, you know, be helped and now I would like to help other people. A criminal record overrides everything else you've accomplished. Expungement and sealing, it allows somebody to live their life as they are today and not who they were in the past. Uh, CGLA is just a blessing. I mean, truly, truly a blessing. Beth is just wonderful. Because if it was not for her and helping me get through this, I wouldn't be where I am right now. Because now I'm a nurse. <laughs> I'm a nurse. So um, I'm just really, really grateful for CGLA. Oh,